Heartland to Heirlooms webinar, Reinventing the Photo Album. We're happy you've decided to invest an hour of your time to learn about how to get better control of your photos and home movies. I'm Jennifer Jordan, one of Heirlooms customer success agents. I'm one of the real people you'd speak with on our 800 number emails or website chats. So Heirloom is staffed Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and I enjoy speaking with customers like you to answer questions about digitizing and preserving your precious memories to the cloud. Uh, I'll be monitoring the chat uh, throughout this webinar. So please use the chat if you have a specific problem with a piece of media or any type of questions about Heirloom Works. I'll make sure that they're addressed um, during the discussion today. So now I'd like to introduce you to Heirloom's Chief Marketing Officer, Manny Silva. Thanks, Jennifer. I'm Manny Silva. I've had the pleasure of working with this heirloom team and helping customers preserve their precious memories for over a year now. Uh, I'm also one of the real people you may talk to when calling our 1-800 number with questions. Uh, we, we really love interacting with our customers and want to provide you with the best experience possible. So uh, at the end of the webinar, uh, you'll get a discount code to save 50% off of our Connect Kit, and you'll learn more about that in this webinar which also has everything you need to get started. It regularly is priced at $29.99, and we will have it for just $14.99 for those of you who attended the webinar. Additionally, we will also provide bonus savings not available anywhere else exclusively for those of you who attended this webinar. So stick around to the end. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce our original founder and CEO, Jeff Weber. Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome and thank you for being here at Heirlooms Reinventing the Photo Album. Hey, Jennifer, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. Uh, okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, in a moment, I'm going to start sharing my screen and I might need some assistance from my team to make sure that goes well. Uh, so I'm coming to you today from Heirlooms Digitizing Facility in sunny South Carolina. Um, I know that you're putting um, where you're from in the chat, which is great. I'd love to know what state you're Zooming in from today. Uh, that's really helpful for us to know. And I also want to know what kind of media that you have that you would like to digitize and share with your family and friends. Um, maybe you have... For instance, I'm going to hold up here like a 35 millimeter slide uh, from the 1960s. Perhaps you've got a VHS cassette like one of these or the thousands that we see here at our facility every month. Um, maybe there's video of your babies taking their first steps or perhaps you'd like to share something really wild. Feel free to put it in the chat like, yeah, I've got this cassette tape of me when I was on Jeopardy or some other TV show. And those are really cool memories. So feel free to put those in the chat um, along with any other questions. So the Heirloom team, we, myself and Jennifer and Manny and everyone else on our team, anyone you talk to on our 800 number or live chat or emails, we want to help answer your questions. And it's not just about digitizing old media, but how do you curate? And how do you connect with your photos and videos for life? Um, please put, like I said, please put those questions in the chat. We'd love to answer them. This is what we're going to cover today. And we're going to make it our best to get this done in the next hour. It's going to be interactive. We're going to ask questions. We're going to respond to your questions. Um, but one, how to digitize your memories without a high cost of time and money, without poor quality, and without a long wait. Um, that's what I what I think everyone's really interested in. Secondly, how do you ship your media without the fear of loss? And then third, how do you reach customer service without getting the runaround? Like, yikes, we have heard stories from customers who tried other companies, and it's one of the reasons I founded Heirloom. After this webinar, you're going to be one step closer to sharing your precious memories, whether they came from a VHS cassette or maybe it's my wife's like 1977 class photo. Uh, you're gonna be closer to that. You're gonna know how to get started, perhaps doing it yourself, uh, media conversion, or having the knowledge and confidence to choose a reputable digitizing service to take care of the hard work for you. So you don't have to wait forever to start digitizing your media. I'm gonna show you how, um, but I'm gonna start off with a personal story. My founding story, the story of Heirloom, comes from 
Oh my goodness. It's now over 32 years uh, of happy marriage to my wonderful wife, Nancy, um, kids, aging parents. Um, my wife has struggled with evolving technology for these many decades. Um, we would capture our memories over the years by developing photo film. We'd buy all kinds of videotapes. We spent far too much money on every new type of media equipment as it evolved. But now digital technology, it's changed our lives. The volume, the variety, and the velocity of our memories dramatically has increased with digital technology. Now my family with many adult kids, they're generating new pictures and videos on their individual devices and a myriad of online platforms. My wife tried backing up her photos to Google only to find it was incredibly difficult to download her collection. Um, I was using Microsoft OneDrive at work. Um, my iPhone forced me into using iCloud for my photos and videos. We had such difficulty sharing back and forth, um, particularly as, as our kids got older and they were recording their own really cool memories to share with us. It all came down to this. And actually, this VHS cassette is the <laughs> more or less the founding story of Heirloom. Yes, it says wedding video. I think it says even the date. There it is, Jeff Weber and Nancy Karelski, December 1990. Um, my wife had been telling me for years, um, you need to make copies. It's the only VHS cassette we have. And there's like my grandparents and uh, my parents and nieces and nephews and friends and aunts and uncles. And they're all having fun dancing and telling us their stories. And you, Jack, you need to make copies of this before they go bad. I'm like, no, honey, like we barely have a working VCR anymore. It doesn't make sense to make VCR copies. And she said, she goes, no, no, put them, put them on one of these DVDs. Like we'll buy one of those machines that you can go from VHS to DVD. And I'm like, honey, this media is not safe. So like, here's, here's a DVD. They scratch really easily, but like, boom, there you go. Now look what happened. And so, oh no, make one for my mom and one for your mom and dad, one for us. And I'm like, that's the wrong solution. So um, I just digitize everything that we had. Um, I put them on a cloud server because what I was finding is um, I, I just, I needed something that was a replicable service. Um, also at the same time, I had family members who had lost memories to a fire. Um, others that um, had a box of photos that went bad because their basement flooded. Um, I had just recently suffered an unrecoverable hard drive crash. Um, I resolved right there to never, basically to leave no memory behind. And I started Heirloom on the cloud with these redundant data centers. So as I said, today I'm gonna to show you how to digitize your memories without a high cost, poor quality, or a long wait. Uh, we're gonna show you how to ship your media without fear of loss, and then uh, how to reach customer service without getting a runaround. Believe me, um, you, you're not gonna have an issue. And as Manny mentioned at the beginning, at the end of this webinar, um, we're gonna send you a discount code where you can save 50% on an Heirloom Connect Kit. It's got everything you need to start preserving your memories for life. Uh, we'll also provide you a bonus discount on your digitizing order for attending today. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start sharing my screen. So Manny, let me know if this is gonna work that I picked the right screen here. I don't wanna get some sort of a stereo feedback. I wanna see, can Manny or Jennifer give me a thumbs up? Is You're it the- You're good to go, yeah. All right, homepage. Okay, so great. From our homepage, um, uh, you, you you can do a lot. You can get a lot of your questions answered, but I'm going to start from here. When I finally decided to digitize everything in our house, I mean, it was tedious and it was time consuming. I had loose photos, slides I inherited from my dad, eight millimeter video reels um, from my in-laws. Hey, Jason, give me one of those super eights. Yeah. So if you can, I don't know if you can raise your hands um, on Zoom. Um, if you have that option, I'm curious if anyone has one of these like super eight um, videos um, in their possession and you want to get these digitized. So Erlen doesn't just digitize the tape, but if you have an eight millimeter uh, film reel that also has sound on it, and some of them did, 
we we do that as well. So all of these things, including typed papers that Nancy wrote up when she was in college, long before we had like good word processors or optical character recognition and PDFs. So I, I digitized it all. Um, I also obviously um, listened to my wife and I digitized this wedding video. Um, it felt really good. I finally had everything preserved digitally and it was on the secure cloud. Here's some things that I learned when I was digitizing. It's a long learning curve and it's expensive getting started. You can do it yourself. Your biggest cost is gonna be the time. You're gonna have to sort, set it up, process each item on your own. I'll tell you if this cassette and some of these VHS were as long as eight hours, it's a one-to-one -one capture. And so for every cassette you have, um, each two hours it's on the cassette, it's two hours of capture. So if you've got multiple cassettes, it's really gonna add up. Um, there may be additional cost to equipment. So cameras, scanners, depending on what you have, maybe some photos, um, maybe automatic scanners, flatbed scanners, software, and make sure you've got a computer with a good graphical processing unit or GPU um, to process the video. Um, after the webinar, uh, you're going to receive our free memory digitizing guide. It will outline some do-it-yourself information and then some considerations for you to think through as you're considering and looking at uh, a professional digitizing service. We'll give you some tips and some, some insider information there. So once I did this for myself, family and friends, they saw how I digitized my media and they were like, hey, could you do the same thing for me? Um, it was about the same time that um, I was in some long conversations with my good friend, um, former veteran uh, who was at uh, uh, Facebook at the time. His name is John Rahagi. He's the heirloom CTO. And at the time, I'm like, hey, John, like, I'm putting all of these photos on to heirloom. I'm sorry, not on heirloom. Whoops. Well, we didn't have heirloom yet. I'm putting all of these photos on to Facebook. And yet, my, and I'm friends with my mother-in-law, but she sends me emails all the time. How come you don't send me pictures of the grandkids? I'm dying to see pictures of the grandkids. And I'm loading up Facebook. But as you all know, it's algorithm. It's run by an algorithm. And so if Facebook doesn't want to share the photos that I've put on Facebook with my mother-in-law, she's not going to see them. And so it was at that time that we got together and said, hey, let's 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 build something better. And so I'm going to click through and if you go to uh, a login or you can get your own free cloud storage account just by clicking free cloud storage, you can check it out. It's free for life, no credit card required. Um, you, it comes with a gigabyte of your own personal storage, but on your free account, you can receive an unlimited amount of streaming memories from anyone who shares with you in the platform. Um, it's only if you own more than a gigabyte that you need to pay an annual fee. And let me tell you, it's not expensive, folks. Uh, plans for uh, start at $19.99 a year, um, which is much more affordable than I'm disappointed to find out my Strava app um, is now. When I started on Strava a couple of years ago, it was $39.99 a year. Last year, it raised to $59.99. I just got a message saying now it's $79.99 a year to use Strava. I'm like, not worth it. Um, but on Heirloom, your first year as a digitizing customer, the cloud's free. So check it out. Um, let me show you how it works. If you have a login, and I'm going to save some time, I'm going to go right to a demo login. So Manny or Jennifer, can you let me know, are we seeing someone's, I think this is Kim Smith's yes. demo account. Thanks, Manny. Appreciate it. Um, so this is what you would see on your account. In the upper right-hand corner, fictitious customer by the name of Kim Smith. Um, I'm displaying all of my my pictures in here. Um, there's that. Um, actually, this is uh, yeah. Someone wrote on here, "Cool socks." I think this was John, um, our our CTO, Jeff and Bros. What was this? Uh, I'm reliving circa 1970. Yeah, and I think I think that's about accurate. Um, I can maximize this screen, um, and I can just scroll through my memories pretty quick. There's that that uh, picture. Uh, of my wife's uh, class in 1977, 1978. 
Um, and we're just, oh, there's my wife and her grandfather, my brother, my wife. There's, yeah, okay. I mean, you probably have a lot of pictures like this as well. Okay, that was the the fateful day 32 years ago. Um, we've got some video for it, my wife graduation from college, bunch of just silly pictures that I'm sure you all have something very similar to it. Um, I love this. Ah, we miss Arizona. Hey, Jennifer. Yeah, this is where we're living up in a in a cold climate. I know many of you people are in cold climates. Um, I I just love being able to go through my memories on Airline. It's really simple. Um, you can just scroll through, watch your many photos. You can change the preview size. I, I don't want to like bore you with the details about how it works, um, other than to just give you a quick glimpse of it right here. Um, so, uh, what else do you need to know? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what you need to know. Most other digitizing services produce digital clutter. And so you're going to get your files back like on a DVD or maybe a thumb drive or maybe it's a digital download. Um, but but if you're waiting to get that thumb drive back or that DVD, um, you might be disappointed by the time that comes back. Maybe they didn't see that you actually had on that eight millimeter reel, there was a sound strip and you're like, hey, how come there's no sound on my video? And they've already shipped it back to you. And then you've got to complain to arduous customer service and say, hey, you guys need to do it back. You need, I need to send it back to you. You guys need to do it right. I'm not saying we're perfect at Heirloom. If we make a mistake, you're going to see it immediately before we return your media. And you can let Jennifer, Manny, anyone else who answers the phone say, do it again. It's not right. And so um, that's, that's, that's basically how it works. No long waiting time when using, like, if you're some other services that talk about months before you get your um, your media back. We, um, within one business day of receiving your your order at our facility here in South Carolina, you receive a digital a, a digital sample directly to your heirloom account. And so you don't pay for any digitizing until you like the quality of the sample. And so like I can go through right here and go into this folder, got some MP3s, I got some voicemails of my kids on here. Um, yes, I even have that, that wedding video. Um, I think I can maximize this and just show you. I'm not sure if the sound is gonna stream well or the video is gonna portray in a video of a video, but basically, as I scroll through, here's a nice thing. This video is an hour and 16 minutes long. No rewinding tapes. I'm just going, streaming this video in real time. I'm at 50 minutes. I know there's something fun. Okay, there we are cutting the cake. I'm fast forwarding through this. There's dancing. There's all kinds of dancing. I'm sure y'all have very similar um, videos to this. My brother, yes, with the mullet back in 1990. We love watching this stuff. Anyhow, um, it streams the video. It's not a digital download. And so there's other companies that say, hey, yeah, we digitize your memories. And then you click on that two hour, uh, what was used to be a two hour VHS cassette. It's a maybe a two gigabyte file. It's going to take a long time to download it before you can see any part of it. Everything streams on Heirloom. And so um, you're immediately going to see that within 24 hours of receiving your memories, you're going to see that that uh, digital download um, immediately. Um, Manny, I'm curious, can you do you have the ability to run that poll we were talking about recently? Do I need to shop yes. stop sharing the screen? It. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna launch it right now. Okay. So I I, I think this would be fun. I would love to see. Um, what our smart audience, smart enough to figure out how to get onto the Zoom call today, smart enough to know that your memories aren't safe on this old media. Uh, I'm curious what you think. How many Americans have had a package stolen by porch pirates in 2022? So last year, um, there's some good um, data on this because everything was a police report. Um, I, let, let's give it a, a couple of... Uh, seconds or maybe a minute or so for people to to answer this and then I'm gonna I know what the answer is but I'm gonna answer it too on my screen if I can no it doesn't let me um and then Manny whenever um whenever you think it's a good time right now we're seven out of ten okay on the poll we're looking pretty good Give you let's all see a, if we can get more people second. so you know a million people 
a million Americans losing a package um, is that's a lot of people. And I'm just curious, do you think it was a million people? Was it one to 10 million people, 10 million to 500 million or over 500 million people in America that lost a package to porch pirates? This is very significant. This has a lot to do with shipping your memories. And so we wanted to ask um, you, to ask our, our audience what they knew about keeping their memory safe. Um, Okay, so right now we're at about nine out of 10. So I think this is a good time to end the poll. Yeah, please do. I don't know okay, if, nice. if you have a way of displaying um, how people uh, answered or, yes. or you can, oh, look at that. Okay, this is really cool to see. So a lot of people think one to 10 million people, Americans lost a, a package. Um, due to porch pirates. I'm really happy to see that no one said it was over 500 million people because I think there's only 380 million Americans. So good job. No one's saying over 500 million. Um, but actually the answer is C, 10 million to 500 million people in America. It's actually 49 million Americans just last year lost a, um, a package to porch pirates. And so this is really significant when we now change gears to, hey, how do I keep my memories safe um, and without the fear of loss when I'm shipping? Shipping integrity and security, it may be your biggest concern about using a digitizing service like Heirloom. I get it. I tried all other companies and I was appalled at their disregard for shipping security. Just put it in the box. Everything's good. Only to get my return, like with all my old media in it, dropped off. Just in my driveway. I came home on this rainy night and I'm like, what is that in my driveway blocking my way to my garage? And it was a return from another company. And I didn't know it was there. FedEx just dropped it off. This other company said, yeah, hey, we, we returned it to you through FedEx. It was unattended. Someone could have stolen those memories. No bueno. That is not cool. So we made sure that Heirloom really does have the safest shipping. Before I tell you how I did it, um, I think it's important that you understand a little bit more of my background um, about why um, we can actually keep your memory safe. So I'm a retired United States intelligence officer. During my time in service, I shipped classified materials around the world using registered mail from the US Postal Service. I used FedEx. I used the United Parcel Service or UPS. Never did I lose a shipment using one of those commercial carriers. Why? It's because I followed the operating manual. Aren't you all familiar with DOD 5220.22 TAC M? It's the industrial security man manual uh, from the US government. Good news, you don't need to read this manual. We've already incorporated it, it all into an heirloom kit. So Jason, can you give me a sample? Yeah, the wrapped up one. So when you go to heirloom and you go on our website and you buy a kit, you're gonna get a code where you can get a, one of these kits half off. Um, retail price is $29.99. What that includes is all of your shipping costs. This is what we send you. We send you an heirloom kit. Um, hey, it's Jeff. Gonna... Yes. Jeff, can you can you unshare the uh, the screen because oh yeah yeah you're yeah. The kit and, and it's really small on the box. I can do that, Manny. Let me stop sharing. Thank you. There so you hopefully you can see my screen a little bit larger. We're gonna send you this kit. It's 18 inches by so let's do this right. 18 inches by 12 inches by six inches thick. You can see that it's already got like a secured signature right across the seam. It's got a label on it. It's going to be left on your doorstep. And you're thinking, wait, Jeff, whoa, 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 back up. You said you're not going to leave stuff on my doorstep where a porch pirate can steal it. This kit, it's a cardboard box with some bags and some packing materials and shipping labels on it. If a porch pirate steals your box, it's okay. We'll send you another one. 
So that's not an issue, um, leave, leaving it on, on your doorstep. But this is what you're gonna get. So inside the kit, um, and the best part's yet to come. So hang, hang with me here. You open that, that paper wrapping and inside you get, th this is the actual heirloom kit. So what's in your memory box? Um, there's some writing on the back about um, how to keep this safe, a QR code for shipping security in case this box is found somewhere. It already has a UPS label applied to the outside of the box. And so it's ready to go. You just put your memories in here and it and it's safe. And you're like, wait a second, why is there a label inside the box? This is called secondary labeling. In case your shipment to us, in case this outside label wears off, there's an inside label where with two-person integrity during the UPS system, someone will open your box in transit and say, hey, who does this belong to? They now know. Um, Inside the kit, you're gonna get packing peanuts, you're gonna get industrial strength polyethylene bags and zip ties as uh, more secondary containment. There's going to be uh, a little note about how to what, how to put everything in the box. It's pretty easy folks, but basically you just put it into this kit, close it up and then um, actually give me, give me that other one, the one with the, uh, the security tape on it. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna what you're gonna do when you close it up, you're gonna see this this white security tape across the seam. And so as I'm fully closing this box, I seal the security tape across the seam. As you can see, there's already a signature on it from Heirloom of us sending it to you. You seal it up, put your signature on here. What that does is it indicates to everyone in transit is. This is a audited item. Don't mess with it. Um, and we've never had an issue because of that, that labeling on the security tape. The other thing is we track it in real time. We have immediate tracing if your package is off schedule. From anywhere in the United States to our facility, it's a five-day tracking and we track everything that comes into our facility. Um, okay, so Everything comes to us. You hear the day that it's it arrives. Hey, we received your package. 24 hours later, you have a login. You log in. You see a sample of your memories, and um, and and in in streaming video. Once we've digitized everything, once you've paid your quote, and you say, "Yeah, I love it. I got 10 cassettes, and they're all short cassettes, and so they're $15 a piece. It's $150. I'm going to click. We're going to digitize everything within." two weeks of receiving your payment. And you're gonna know exactly what it's gonna look like because you've already got one sample of it. Then when we go to return your media, this is where it matters. Yeah, Jason, if you can give me a sample of a uh, what the return would look like. We're gonna send it back to you in a fresh box from Heirloom. And um, this is gonna be delivered to your house, not left in your driveway like the other company had FedEx leave it in my driveway on a rainy night and it was all soaked. Um, it's going to deliver with UPS signature required. So they come to your door, ding dong, um, and only give it to a person with a signature. It's not left on your doorstep. This cost us money with the United Parcel Service. Very few other companies pay that. I guess they don't think you're worth it. I guess they don't think that your memories are worth it. We believe no memory left behind. We're not leaving your box with your precious media, even though it's already been digitized. We're not gonna leave it in your driveway or unattended where a porch pirate can steal it. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna rip it off like has happened to 49 million Americans last year. They're gonna they're gonna grab it, throw it in their, their car, drive away somewhere. They're gonna open it up thinking it was a flat screen TV. And then they go, oh, it's, it's a bag of loose photos. And you can see how we return it to you. So zip tie, there's a label on here identifying the file sequence um, of, of each of these. This is approximately, my guess is 600 photos because it's in a stack of about six inches tall. Um, or maybe your photos were in these little um, handbooks or albums. Um, so these are, these are little um, bound albums with photos in it. Each one has its own sequence. And so I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's some 
some numbers on here that actually show the, um, boy, I'm just not really good with this, that actually show basically how your media, your, your physical media matches up to your files on heirloom. And then, yeah, the last thing in there. So someone, let's say they had their, their VHS cassette. So you can see this is, um, I don't know, about 10 VHS cassettes. Each one has another one of those labels on it. And if for some reason your box gets a hole in it, you don't have to worry about, oh, all of my photos went flying all over UPS's floor and they don't know which one belongs to me. It's all in secondary containment. And so um, whether you, when you ship it to us, you'll have the ability to do that. When we return it to you, we, we also put it in that, that great fashion. Um, so I'm gonna pause here really quick before I go to the third point which is how to reach customer service without getting the run around. But I wanted to just pause because I'm not looking at the chat. Is there anything that I need to be aware of, Manny or Jennifer, before I go on to our third point? I'm not seeing any questions in the chat, but we would love to answer any questions you have. So please do not hesitate. Just go ahead and put it in there and we can answer right now. Thank you. Um, so. I'm sure you've all had the experience of trying to get a hold of some other company and their customer service, and you get the run around, keeping you from talking to a real human um, or your these these endless answering machine loops. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to try something here. I'm going to go out on a limb and see if my speaker works and you guys can hear this. Um, let's see if I can do this right. Thank you for contacting heirloom.cloud. Can you hear that, Manny or Jennifer? I sure hear it. Yep. Okay, so hear it. This, all may be this is what you get when you call heirloom 24 7. Yes, we have an incoming message. There you go. Press zero at any time and talk to a live person. So there is no long wait. You're going to hear from us, you're going to hear an outgoing message from Susan boxes of old windows. Um, it just explains that because we get a lot of junk calls as you might imagine and this tells them oh this isn't the company we're looking for. Enjoy them now thanks to heirloom's innovative digitizing service. Please hold while we transfer your call to an account representative. And that's exactly Jeff, Jeff can yes. I jump in for a second? We do have a question from Jane and hello Jane I've spoken with Jane on the phone before. Um, I She knows I'm one of the real people that you can speak to at Heirloom, but she's asking, can you talk about security of your cloud storage? Sure. Um, so Jane, that gets really complex, um, but let me, let me give you um, another story, a personal story, um, personal professional story um, that explains why our cloud storage is safe and why actually this is how safe it is. Um, we have 11 nines of durability, basically 99.999% of durability on our cloud platform because it goes through redundant data centers. Um, what that means in everyday terms is you are 411 times more likely not just to see a meteor land, but to get struck by a meteor, which I'm not sure how many times actually happens. I'd have to look that up, but 411 times more likely to get struck by a meteor than lose a single file on heirloom because of our 11.9's durability with multiple data centers. I wasn't sure about this security. And years ago, I was working for a major federal agency who said, hey, um, Jeff, you're on the team and you're gonna help us put top secret SCI data from the, Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, onto Amazon. And I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a second. I have sworn an oath to support and defend, and that includes classified materials. And sir, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, this gentleman advised me that he works for the president, not me. I work for him, and I they've already made the decision, and I need to figure it out. And so I spent, I spent a long time as a naysayer trying to prove that this was not safe. And not only did I find um, within a few months just how incredible cloud security, not just cloud storage, cloud security, cloud compute, how secure the cloud was um, that it made not just me a believer, but then also 
um, one of the reasons I wanted to launch Heirloom. So I'm not sure, Jennifer, if that might answer the question about cloud security, but I, I will also last will say, I'll caveat with that with, okay, thanks for the thumbs up. I'm seeing that pop up on the screen. That's really cool. Um, your memories are as good as your password. And so we've had some people say, oh my gosh, an heirloom password, eight to 16 characters. Well, yeah, it's gotta be. And you've gotta have one uppercase, one lowercase, one number and one special sign. And we can't, we don't know your password. We, we can't know your password. There's an automated system through our cloud security that would then reissue you a password. Um, the other thing that people might kind of, uh, I'd say, not quite understand is when we digitize your memories, obviously you can see behind me are some of our, our VHS decks and, and the way it works here. Um, that memory, we have to see it. We have to queue it up. We're, we're seeing the video. We're making sure that that everything's tracking well. Um, well. We'll do some basic curation here, clipping out the blue screen on the the front and the back end, and we'll upload it to your cloud. Once we upload it to your cloud account, we no longer have access to it. Um, we can't go into your account. We can't see the other memories that you've added. We can't see how you added a description or you renamed the file. All we can tell is how much memory you're how, how much memories you're storing on our system because well we need to know eventually how to bill you uh, because at the end of the day the cloud is not free even Google charges for their cloud and same as with iCloud and so um, it's incredibly secure it's as good as your password it's also as good as the person that you share it with and so let, let me let me address public links heirloom does not use a public link this bothers me because sometimes I have some friends that will send me kind of some sensitive video of us somewhere. I don't know. Um, and I don't want it. I mean, like, I'm okay. You know, like, I'm on this video wherever doing something maybe silly. And they're like, oh, I'm sharing a link with you of the, 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 the dinner that we had or the talk we had. And they email me a link. First off, it goes on iCloud. And in order for me to watch any part of the video, I got to download the whole video before I can see any of it. It doesn't stream. Secondly, that link, anyone who has access to that link can watch that video. And I don't know about you, the, the, the people on this webinar right now or, or listening to the webinar on, on YouTube after the, this, this goes, after we're live, but I don't want my little kids taking a, a bubble bath um, 20 years ago. I don't want that publicly available. If I say that I'm sharing it with my mother-in-law and my wife and my kids, that's the only place it goes on heirloom. Um, and so it is incredibly safe. We are riding on the same backbone that's um, also um, taking uh, managing the safety of, of, of top secret SCI data from the CIA. So you're, you're, there is no safer place to do this. And this is one of the reasons why I founded Heirloom because no one had that type of security before. Well, thanks for such a great answer, Jeff. We appreciate that. And we have one more question from Eleni. She'd like to know if we digitize documents such as diplomas and certificates. You bet, Laney, that, that's a great question. Um, uh, those, <laughs> those um, typewriter, manual typewriter papers that my wife had typed up in the 80s, and she had all this paperwork, all this, these, oh my gosh, the hours and years that went into typing those papers. When I digitized everything we had, I scanned them all to PDF documents. And they weren't just PDFs. They are optically character recognized, so OCR capable documents that you can then search. So that, that document that you have, those words can come up in a search. Um, the funny thing is, is I, my, my wife said, wait a second, you shredded that entire file box, but that are all the papers that I typed up back in the nineties or eighties. And I'm like, honey, when was the last time you read that paper? Oh, I don't know, but I might want to read it one day. And I'm like, it's been 20 years. You've never opened that box. I got rid of the clutter. Oh, and by the way, your senior thesis, I just searched and you said the word S-E-X 26 times in your senior thesis. What's going on there? And she's like, I did? And I'm like, yeah, look at, I, I, so basically, Laney, to, to answer your question, of course we do. Um, so we get a lot of photo albums. There's 
basically two ways we can handle a photo album here at Heirloom. One would be an actual album with individual photos in it. You don't need to take them out. We can digitize the entire album. Each photo is individually cropped out as a separate JPEG. Or perhaps you've got a really cool scrapbook. And, and uh, raise your hand if you got one of these. Uh, scrapbook that's got newspaper clippings. Uh, maybe it's got some photos in it. Maybe it's got some love letters from your grandpa during World War II back to your grandma or like cl clippings of the baby's first haircut. All of that is scanned as one PDF file. And so you're going through an electronic or an ebook, which is your, um, which used to be an old manual scrapbook, but now you have a digital backup of the entire book. So hopefully that answers the question for, uh, for Lainey. Yes, indeed. We do lots of documents. Would love to help you with that. Okay, well, Melanie, thank you for that question. And, and does anybody else have any questions? We have not much going on in the chat here. Well, we can answer questions about anything, about how we digitize, what looking at that on the on the website and how you can share that with your family members, because that's one of the things I like best about heirloom is how easy it is for me to share my personal memories and my images with my family. Um, without it's it's a, a really nice one-step process instead of taking a photo that I've taken and send it to this person and send it to this person it's all in one place it's all in one place and I can say okay I'm inviting someone oh well here we go do you do any photo restoration work Melanie would like to know as well we do some basic recovery work so that we can capture your memories but we, uh, I'm seeing like enhancing older photos. There's a lot of, excuse me, there's a lot of software on the market that will help you to enhance your digital photos. Um, this is something that we would like to eventually add directly on the Heirloom platform, but we understand that a lot of people already have their favorite software suite like Adobe Photoshop or anything on the Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, there's a variety of software applications that you can do that. So we don't actually enhance it, um, but we do a full capture. And, and let me give you an example. Hey, Jason, have you got a, uh, I wanted to show an example because well, this is what we see a lot. Um, it's not necessarily with a, a loose photo, but yeah, give me that beta cassette, that Memorex one. Actually, I'll take all these cassettes because I think they're helpful. Um, Oftentimes, uh, someone will send us, let's say, a VHS cassette, which I showed you. This is a, a beta, if someone remembers beta from the day, uh, a beta cassette, or here's a high eight video cassette. It's quite a bit smaller. Um, this is a DV tape, also even smaller than that. Many times, memories come in here, we'll put it in our player, and it, it doesn't work. And it's because the tape has actually come off of the spindle. And so I know there's other companies that say, hey, you paid us to digitize it because we charge you for every item that you put in our box. We don't do that. Um, if you have a blank tape, we don't digitize it. But let's say it's a tape. Hey, no, it, it's actually a decent tape, but it came off of the reel. We actually perform surgery here. And so we'll open the cassette. We'll put it back onto the spindle. We'll do the same thing with Super 8 um, cassettes. If you have some small damage to your loose photos. Um, we don't put everything through an automatic feeder. Um, some of the more delicate photos are put on a flatbed scanner so that we can appropriately capture it. But we do not, we do very, I won't say we won't do any, we do very little enhancement of your photos. Our goal is to do the best capture possible. Um, you probably heard Geigo before, garbage in, garbage out. If we do a poor quality capture, you're going to have a hard time making a good enhancement to that photo. And we've seen some, we've seen some pretty bad examples from other. Well, I, I, I know that I've had some, some people say, Hey, look what I did on my own. And I'm like, Ooh. Um, and then, and then they send it to us. I'm like, no, we're, 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 we're going to make it better. Um, and so that, that's our goal. Um, we don't do uh, a major enhancement. We know that you can do a lot of it on your, on your own. Um, but if there's uh any other further questions about that that I'm missing, please let me know. Well, well, Melania says, thank you for that. And Jane would like to know um, about when you have your photos on Heirloom's cloud, 
can you move around easily between can you move items around easily between folders the answer is yes about that and you can go try it you can go to heirloom.cloud right now or after this call get click on free cloud storage put your name and email address in there and you can try it yourself i'm going to demo it and so manny help me make sure that i'm actually showing the right screen are we are you guys seeing my um my login again yes. okay Good great go, so let me give an example of what that would look like and who who asked this question jennifer jane About wanted to know that's okay. jane asked that question so i can just take this photo of me with the cool socks and i can just drag it right into the folder and it's now in the folder um i can create a new album and so it's just going to put something here called new album. Um, I can view this. I, I'm kind of a stickler for for this display. Um, I could change the album name to, I don't know, family. Um, if I could spell appropriately. So if, now it's a family folder. Um, I could take this. I could take this picture of my wife and her grandpa and maybe this picture of uh, my wife as a little kid and I can I think I can drag them yeah right into that folder did that work right oh I only did the one let me back up uh I want to put this one in there too yeah um so now they're in that folder really easy to manage your system hopefully that answers your question I want to show you. Um, Did you see the thumbs up floating across the screen? I believe that that means Jane's question was answered. So thank you uh, for that, Jeff. Hey, folks, I'm I'm not a really good multitasker. <laughs> I can do like one thing at a time, and uh, I, I get easily distracted. But it was really cool seeing that um, thumb go by. Uh, we talked a little bit about streaming memories. Um, soon you'll notice on the heirloom application that you will see not just thumbnails for your photos um there's my dad back in vietnam um handsome guy right back in like the early 60s um but you can we're eventually going to be adding thumbnails to your your video so it won't just say mp4 like this you'll actually see a thumbnail right now um it's the same content Oh, the other thing is a lot of people say, hey, can I download my memories? Uh, of course. And so actually, let me back up here. I'm going to just go back to home. I'm not going to zoom into the. I could click on multiple things. So I can click on, let's say, these two. And then I can click on download. And oops, I might want to X out of this because it does take a while um, for the download to get ready. Oh, well, OK, there it is. And now it shows up on my screen. It's every, everything's been downloaded. I think I'm also going to get an email. Let me know that the download is ready. It's that simple. You're not locked into heirloom. You can copy, move, share. This is how easy it is to share a memory. I go on here as a memory of my wife and brother and not the young lady that he went to uh, on to marry. Uh, and I could just put his email address in here. I can share it with him as a uh, the default is a viewer. And it's exactly that. He can view the file. He can watch the video. He can't. Um, he can't do things like what a contributor can do. A contributor can actually add to the description. And you'll see that there's going to be some really cool features coming on Heirloom um, later this year about things that a contributor can do um, to include taking a silent video and allowing someone to do a, an audio narration of that video that used to be silent. So I can't wait to have my dad do those things with some of our silent video or an editor. Don't just give this permission to anyone. I gave it to my wife when I first digitized my memories, and I'm glad I did, um, because an editor has the same rights as an owner. Um, and so she went through and said, oh, that picture, I never knew that was, I never even knew that was still around. You digitized it. I'm like, I digitized everything, honey. And so she was able to delete it. And so she deleted it from my own content. I shared everything with her as an editor, but she was able to, um, to do that. And so you just put that in there and then invite them. It's a really simple use system to use. Oh, love to see the heart floating up on the screen. So glad, glad it's a, got a like. Any other okay. questions? I would just like to add, can you speak a little more about how people can contribute, how they can add comments to photos, that if you invite somebody to look at your photos, that they could add comments and how that's a really great way to connect with people and connect with your family and to get their perspective of, you know, what happened in, in, during this photo and 
uh, I think it's a really nice way to share and maybe could talk a little bit about that. Yeah, you bet. So um, I'm just scrolling through this one folder and you can see on the right side, it says users with access and it says this demo account, Kim Smith is the owner. If I shared this with, let's say Nancy and I made her an editor, it would say Nancy's an editor, Kim is the owner. So you would see the list of people who have access to that particular memory. But then I can go in here and I can say um, university, whoops. Univ of Arizona, I don't know, 1992, and I can save it, and I'll, I'll X out of it. Um, I can then go into search my memories, and I can say, I don't know, 1992, and oh, I guess there's a lot of memories that have 1992 in it. Let me see. Let me go into Univ. Univ. Oh, maybe it's case sensitive. Now I got to go back and see what did I write on there? I just did this so willy nilly. Do, 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 do. Where did it go? Did I share it with someone else? Oh, this video. Sorry. Pictures. Oh, oh, see, that's it. I, I didn't even type right. So it's you un, not unic univ of Arizona. Let me save that again. X out. And so now I've got all these memories, but I'm like, oh, I know it says univ search did I do this right un if where is it this is the picture un if and it's in this un if well I would just like to add that what I like so much about that feature is that if I share a photo with someone and they comment on it that I get to see their perspective. Maybe I shared something with my mom and she would say, oh, well, what that was, was this happened back then, whatever. And it's really a great way of getting some perspective that my children might want to know what their grandma said and their children might want to know what their great grandma said and on down through history or whatever. But it's just a really nice and easy, very easy way for someone else to make a comment um, on a photo and be, be part of the community. Um, and then Jane is asking again, is there a good way, and thank you, Jane, so much. We appreciate your, your questions to, because I'm sure everybody has a lot of the same questions. Um, oh, actually she has two things. Number one is she has old slides of her grandfather and her father that she may also have prints of. Is there a way to cross-reference? So we, that would be labor intensive for us to do that. Um, if you send us slides, we're going to digitize your slides. Um, if you send us loose photos, we'll digitize them. Um, you might find um, once they're digital, they're much easier to go through um, and you can cross-reference them um, on the platform. We don't yet have um, the artificial object recognition running on heirloom that's coming later this year um, where what what we've heard from a lot of customers is I want a way to delete my duplicates can you help me find my duplicates and so this is something we're building what we're primarily focused on first is let's let's capture these memories before there's a fire in your house or a flood or you uh someone says oh i i donated that box to goodwill and you're like no that had the family pictures in it we want to preserve them first make them digital put them on the cloud where you'll never lose them and then um watch um this year you don't have to pay for the cloud so as a digitizing customer this cloud is free you don't like it download everything from it but um you'll be amazed about the capabilities we'll be building on Heirloom um, this year and then far into the future with what good technology, good artificial intelligence just on the platform will help you to better curate your memories. Um, Jeff, Mulaney would like to know how long we have been in business. And Jane thanks us for the explanation. Um, oh, well, answer Mulaney's question and then I have one more from Jane. So Mulaney would like to know how long we have been in business. We incorporated in 2020, right in the midst of the pandemic. 
um, because this is when we heard people were missing, they were missing connection. Um, I, I, I want to share, if I can, if you guys will give me some liberty to share some some more of what I've got. Um, I, I think this is this is the problem we're really solving, folks. I mean, yes, we're making it easy to put all your memories into one place, but really what we're, the problem we're solving is like connecting you to your memories and not just like the pictures that I took yesterday on, on Google Photos or the iCloud, but all of your memories in one place and not just connecting you to your memories, but connecting you to your memories and the others who share in that experience. Um, here's a good example. This is a, um, a video. Uh, this is, let's see if this is coming up well, or I'm losing my, I'm on Wi-Fi here uh, as I'm moving my laptop around. So this, maybe I don't, you guys are seeing me well, but for some reason that video, uh, back up. Let me try that again. Um, I, I wanted to share um, an example of video. And I don't know, Manny, maybe, maybe you can pull this up. You're on a better connection than my Wi-Fi. Jeff, while you're working on that, we have a um, couple, maybe we can answer some quick questions. Jane would uh, like to know whether it's best to digitize uh, from the slides versus the prints. Oh, good question, Jane. That is a really good question. Always go from that medium, which is going to give us the better capture. Um, and so a print, and I don't know if you guys could have seen this one, but there's some handwriting on uh, on the on on here and and so um, it was like the bleed over because someone had a piece of paper on top and then the handwriting that was captured in this print because this print gets fingerprints on it. Um, it there might be some writing um, like things that you didn't want or scratches. Um, but typically these slides didn't get that level of handling. Same thing with your negatives. A lot of people they still have the negatives in that album or in that envelope. And so going from the negative, it allows us to not just do 300 DPI or 600 dots per inch or 1200 dots per inch scanning your print, but scanning a slide positive or a photo negative, we can capture your memories at 3000 dots per inch resolution. So, so much better quality. So um, I really appreciate that question. That's uh, that is a much better way of preserving your memories. Um, I know that some people are still scared to ship despite how safe our shipping is. And someone asked how long we've been in business. We've been in business since 2020. We've done more than a million memories um, on Heirloom. We're approaching a, a petabyte of data on Heirloom's cloud, which is a lot of streaming video. Um, and um, there's a purpose I wanted to bring that up. During that time, yes, we've never lost someone's memories, but I understand the apprehensiveness of, ooh, these are my one of a kind memories. Tell you what, keep your prints at home, send us your negatives. And even if the worst thing in the world would happen, like the UPS truck is going down the road and a nuclear bomb takes it out and your, your negatives are de destroyed forever. And it's one of those, what they call um, active God moments. Um, you're, they're not, you still have your prints at home. We've never had that issue. I think if, if we did have that issue, it'd probably wind up on the nightly news. Um, it would be such a catastrophe, um, but your memories are safe with shipping. But I mean, I, I, I would just argue and say, send us your slides and negatives, keep your prints at home and you'll be that's amazed. That's a good point. Jeff, that's a good point have. because what uh, I think a lot of us don't realize is that our old photo albums that actually had the sticky backs on them that we stuck the photos on and then we stuck the non-acid free plastic sheets over them, that that really degraded the color and the quality. And so you might be surprised if you get a uh, a digitized image from a negative and you see that the colors are so much more sharp and bright than the photo that you've looked at a million times in those horrible 1970s there you've got one yep those we didn't we didn't understand about acid free back then and what acid does to photos so the negative or the slide is is going to be a lot better so thank you for asking that question and jeff thank you for answering it yeah pulling pulling your photos off that page um, you, you can damage the photos. Don't do it. 
we digitize it, one, we peel back the acetate because we can, it doesn't damage anything. It exposes your, your, your native photos. We scan the entire page. Each one's cropped out as a separate JPEG. Unless you have an album like this. So this is maybe a, a more modern photo album where I can actually pull the photo out of the page. You're welcome to do it yourself. You'll save yourself a little bit of money if you have this type of photo album, but we can also do that for you. Um, also, when we when we do your photos in an album and you have this type of album, we return them into the same spot that they came from. Your memories will come back to you, even your physical memories, in a better condition all the time than the way you send them to us. And so if you put your memories in separate bags, we're going to maintain that same grouping. We're going to maintain that order as best we can as it's run through our facility. We're partnering with you. We're trying to make it easier for you to fully capture, curate, and connect all of your memories. And so it's it's certainly not in our interest to uh, make your life more miserable or fit into our particular box. Um, you let us know how we can better help you, and that's what we're here to, to help you with. I know that we're coming up on an hour, or we're at an hour, so um, I'm happy to answer any more questions, or maybe Manny could, could take over. Are there any other questions in the chat, Jennifer? I think we have answered every question. But I mean, we'd love to hear more. We're we're here. Oh, and Jane said super helpful. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, and Melanie says thank you too. And I think we're going to give the code now. Is that correct for the discount to the Connect Kit? Now that we're at the end. That that's up to Manny. So Manny's Manny's heirlooms marketing director. What what do, what do you say, boss? So I'm getting ready to drop the code into the chat. Uh, so right now, it, probably about a minute or two ago, all of you should have received a survey on this webinar. It's only five questions. should take you just a few seconds to answer. If you could please uh, let us know how we did. It, it is very helpful to know, you know, what worked, what answered your questions, what wasn't helpful. And additionally, right after that, you're going to get another email with the discount code so that you can um, use that when you order your Connect Kit. So I'm going to drop it on the chat, and you're also going to get an email as well. Hey, yeah, we Manny. would really love to to get your your feedback because we want to make this uh, as as useful for you as possible. So we would really, really appreciate you doing those those surveys for us because we want to give you the best information that we can, and we really do appreciate you. We're all about our customers, so uh, any interaction with you, we love very much. Oh, and there's your there's your link in the chat where you can click, so. Manny, I, I regret that I'm bandwidth challenged as I'm running around the facility on my laptop. Um, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna jump out here um, if that's a, if it, unless there's some, some like pressing questions that I can answer. Um, but uh, Manny, it, it, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. If, if there's some other people that want some questions answered, please take it away. Um, I just want to thank those that were here today or people that are watching this later on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking your your memories, those of your family, your friends. Uh, thank you for taking them serious. Um, we do too. Um, and the reason we started Heirloom is because we weren't finding the right solution out there. And it's not Google photos and it's not the iCloud and it's not some other company where you drop it into a box and you wait months to get a DVD or a thumb drive back. We just don't think that's the right solution. So thank you for, for engaging with us today. Um, you can talk to someone like Jennifer or Manny at any time by talk, calling our 800 number. Um, but I am, uh, I know that I'm, I'm getting pulled in some other directions and I'm on a limited bandwidth here. So I'm going to, I'm going to bow out now. Okay. Thank you, he, Jeff. Thank uh, you for taking the time. Thank you for taking the time to, to join us. And we have, uh, Sarah is, says it's been very interesting and Virginia said, thank you. And I thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedule to help us with this webinar and to let everyone know what's going on. And so Manny and I will stay on if anyone has any questions. Sarah says she has thousands of photos. Do I just add them to the box? That, it's that, just that easy. That's it, Sarah. And and like Jeff showed that we got the uh, the Ziploc bags. You can put them in there to protect them, and and just whatever whatever fits in the box, you can send it. Uh, one thing that I don't think was mentioned is 
once you get your memories back, we put the memories in a fresh box. So you fill your memories in the Connect Kit. We get it. After the digitizing is done, it goes in a brand new box and goes back to you so that in case you're like, oh, wait, I have more stuff I want to send, you already have a fresh box that can go back. And we call that a buy one, get one. So it's actually uh, $10 less uh, just because you already have the box as part of the shipping. We got a floating thumbs up on that. Everybody loves a discount and we love to give you a discount. We, let, we love to uh, thank our customers for their business. And because we understand you, you could just open a drawer and there could be a bunch of photos in there. And, uh, or you may, I recently kind of acquired, I guess I will say, uh, boxes of photos and slides and reels of things from my mom. She's like, okay, here, it's all for you. Like, well, okay, that works out really well for me because I happen to work for a company that does that. But, you know, for someone who doesn't work for Heirloom, it's what do you do with that stuff? What do you do? Um, oh, and then let's see. Oh, I thought there's another question. But, you know, we want to make it easy for you to continue to add photos to your to your your library on on heirloom of all of your memories so um that that is nice about that second kit that you will get with the discount so okay jane's i'm all set thanks and have a great day and jane thank you again for participating so much we appreciate that and um we've spoken on the phone if you have any questions you call me again and we can talk about it and you have a great day too Oh, and Sarah says, thank you. And we get a floating thumbs up. And thank you, Sarah, for attending. And thank you, everyone, for coming. I hope that you've learned a lot. I hope that you're intrigued and in thinking about all the things that you could uh, get digitized and keep your, your very precious memories safe. That's our goal here. Everyone for attending. And we'll be standing by for any calls. Uh that, that y'all have or to answer any questions you have because you may have something that's like oh wait i forgot just call us and, and we'll help you out thanks everybody bye-bye <laughs>